if you're just tuning into the Rob Raws for the first time, or the tenth time, or even you could, this might be the one hundredth time, I'd like to say thanks for joining us. Your support is important to us. It keeps us going. Inspiring, inspiring people is inspirational to us. My ears are burning, which typically only happens when I lose a poker, but poker can be very analogous to life, and I just sat through traffic driving to some hopefully epic surf. And I was sitting here with this idea that why don't we start vlogging again? So we're doing that now. All right, we're here at Mellow Mushroom in Athens, Georgia. We're plugging ourselves back into the Matrix, you know. Uh, it's good to do that from time to time so you can relate to Common Fold. Yeah. Common Folk? Common Fold. Common fold. Like, What's common? Like common people, you know, like oh. people, like sheeple. Ordinary. <laughs> Am I a common folk? Uh, no, you're, you're not common folk. You're okay. extraordinary. You <laughs> call me common folk. <laughs> being in this North County, San Diego area and being uh, surrounded by these elite crowd of surfers, I started to wonder, how is it that whenever the waves get good, that these people are out here surfing. Like their their schedule is built around nature. It's built around their passion, which is following nature. Can you see those waves breaking in the background, by the way? Because that could be kind of cool. Uh, I'm getting itchy. <laughs> um, anywho, I was just wanting to give props to people that have built a life around their passion. If you are one of the newbies, one of the things that we do like to do is give little health tips to make a big difference. And not only physical health, but I'll start with that. I'll start with what I'm doing right now, which is walking. We've been through the whole gauntlet of studying different ways to reach top levels of fitness or just the easiest ways to reach holistic level of fitness. You see that? My heart rate's getting up there a little bit. I'm walking at a little faster pace, maybe a little nervous that I'm on camera, it's been a while. Ah, feels good. Gotta love that heart rate. He goes in and out of the Matrix. He goes in the Matrix for a night, makes some money, and then brings the money back home to his family so we can pursue non-Matrix-like things. <laughs> he taught me about the Matrix. Who did? Birthday boy over here, Planche Master. 21. <laughs> what a different in age. He's 21, and I'm 60. <laughs> They do have the same birthdays today, so uh, leave a comment below. Make sure to wish them happy birthday. I, I was telling Diana, like, if I, there was a guy that wants to go surfing on the MRO on Saturday, and he's, like, in the office right now, like, thinking about surfing when there's this epic swell. And I was thinking, like, man, that, if that happened to me, that'd be enough to make me quit my job. And, um, sorry if, if that's, if you're watching this video right now and you're still working your job. Um, <laughs> But I just wanted to give a big pat on the back for the people, not only surfers, but we'll use surfers as the example, that have built a life around their passion that when nature calls or when the waves happen, they can go out there and have the time of their life. They've created that schedule for them. Um, and I kind of think that's a good lesson that that's how our, all of our schedules should be built around our passion. And it just so happens, lucky, lucky for us and for the rest of the people in the world, that some people's passion is being a doctor. And then they can, you know, when going to work for them is awesome. It's not really work. You know, you do a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Birthday. Hey, my birthday. <laughs> 60 years old, buddy. <laughs> How often do you eat pizza? Once a year. <laughs> no, maybe more than that. Maybe more than that. But definitely once a year. <laughs> and I mean, uh, I think I eat five pieces already. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, walk walk. What I would recommend personally to do is when you wake up in the morning, here it is. This is a lot of valuable information. Jump into all cold shower. If you can't bear all cold, do hot too cold. F fill your glass with 40 ounces of water or a liter of water. Infuse it with some lime and ginger or lemon and ginger if you need to. And if you're really taking it to the next level, get that juice going in you too. This What's all in this beast? It has a little bit of spinach, kale, uh, lots of ginger, cucumber, no bananas, no. <laughs> lime, apple, and a lot of parsley. 
Oh wow, parsley. That's nutrient dense. That and uh, yours is right here. And I'm gonna be, I'm about to take that on my walk to get my coffee. How amped could someone get? Walking with green juice to go get coffee. <laughs> Sounds like a formula for success to me. Hey, and I'm making kale for this. Salad. Just ignore me. Uh, well, the kale salad. <laughs> we know. I like. I like. And you drank that on the walk. I actually like to read the Bible sometimes when I'm doing the walk. And then I'm going to get some super quality coffee. We'll save that for another time. But beyond the physical, I want to talk about a little advice. Did I just zoom in my face there? Hold on. Maybe, hopefully not. I wanted to give a little advice more on the emotional and communication level. Communication with yourself and other people. More on the relationship aspects, especially since we're doing our retreat in Southern California. February 13th through the 17th. We marked it as a relationship retreat, but basically every retreat we do is ways to take your relationships to the next level. And Summer was just talking about that with me, how she was saying that, wow, you guys are just like creating a, a little family of friends. Like all your friends like become family. I don't necessarily encourage people to eat kale raw like that. Uh, I like my cruciferous vegetables. Okay. Well, you know, just don't eat it when <laughs> well, it's Well, unless it's, no, no, when, you know, you take it back. I, I, I bluffed. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to eat kale salad every day now. Get really low to the They are. <laughs> they are one healthy couple. Look at them. <laughs> I just would encourage you to start, if you're going to create a life for yourself, to not try to do everything else first, like get the job, get the house, get the car, get the girlfriend, and then find your passion. I would say start by finding your passion. Make that, you know, the the foundation of your life and then let the rest fall into place. Anyways, we'll keep maybe we'll keep vlogging. Maybe this will be the start of something new. So comment below, you know, we need some encouragement guys. We need your encouragement just like you need ours. Um look at this new material they make wetsuits out of it's like carpet. Uh, it's on your crotch. Uh I don't know if that's necessary. But yeah isn't that cool? It's like a carpet on the inside. But the funny thing was the first time I before I ever got in the water on this wetsuit I peed in it before. So I was like, wait a minute, I don't know if I like peeing in this material. What are you doing? Take a picture of me? Take a picture? Now this is just how interested I am in surfing. <laughs> Being people that don't want to surf you feel sorry. A little bit, but not as bad, not as bad as people that want to surf they can't because they're in the office working for someone else's passion, you know what I'm saying? Some people are so delusional that they think, this is what I was telling somewhere, that they think they feel, they think they feel the way they do because other people, and they think they make other people feel the way they do. And that is a little backwards. Um, what I want you to start practicing doing is saying instead of, oh, you make me so mad, or she makes me so happy, or she makes me so depressed, is what I want you to start practicing saying is, I make myself happy around you and then follow up or I make my I make myself so mad around you and then follow up and it seems small and it might seem a little ridiculous to some people especially people that are used to uh, whoops people that are used to blaming others for how they feel not taking responsibility but that little step that little step of taking responsibility that you are in control of your emotions that you're basically choosing to be mad or you're choosing to be happy or you're choosing to be scared when you take control of that, it makes huge steps. So once again, that's just like a little bit of a health hack right there. A little difference can make a huge thing in the, out, in the long run. So practice that, let me know. Let me know how that goes for you. Uh, it's definitely made a big difference in my life. All of a sudden I realized how much I can do and how I'm responsible for it, not to keep blaming others for my, my upset times or my down times and even especially my good times. And then you can kind of nip it in the butt. You can really get to the source of whether it's a stumbling block or a stepping stone. And more likely turn those stumbling blocks into stepping stones. All right, guys. Uh, anyways, we'll continue the day. I was thinking about making a whole video on that, but hey, let's throw in a vlog. Let's go back to vlogging, huh? Who likes to see vlogs? If you've ever made videos, you know how it is that sometimes after you do the video, you're like, oh, I could have said that better. Like, oh. And sometimes that prevents you from even allowing to post it. But I uh, encourage you to stop being perfectionist and nothing, nothing gets done until something moves and that movement is you putting that video up regardless 
of how critical you are. That being said, I wanted to add one more little note was, I'm just curious, when people say, it makes me so stressed out, or it makes me so mad, what is it? And how does it make you so mad? Is it like, is it like some kind of magical gravitational pull that enters through your ear hole and then goes into your heartstrings and tugs at them? No. If you were actually thought that was the answer, that's wrong. The answer is, it's not it. And it's not making you mad, it's you making yourself mad. So try it, try it on for size it. I make myself happy. I choose to be mad. And then, you'll become the creator of your emotions. Peace. Oh, and we just did a six mile walk after two hours at the gym. Beast mode. <laughs> beast. <laughs> I've never heard someone say beast mode so cute. Beast mode. She's like beast mode. We could get one more pity laugh for my joke. I'm gonna repeat it. JP really brought a lot of leaners over. Ha <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs>